What's up guys, Cash back again, and we have some new insights from one of the developers working on Avengers via Reddit, as well as a few new details about the new villain sector coming this Tuesday, and I'll break down everything that was shared with you guys as always, so let's jump into it. So a user over on Reddit made a quick list of modern comic skins he'd like to see added in the game at some point. And on the list, he's got the new Black Widow outfit with the hoodie, the Iron Man Prime armor, Hawkeye's modern look, the Black Panther outfit with the collared cape and the gold accessories, Kate Bishop's look from the comics, and Thor with the golden metal arm and hammer. And developer Nick E responded saying, some days are harder to keep stuff under my head than others. Lightly teasing that something or possibly a couple of these outfits may be in a development pipeline to arrive in the marketplace or shipments at some point. And a few weeks back, Nick confirmed that new skins for Black Panther were currently being worked on, so it's always nice to get a small idea of what's coming even if the devs can't say much at the time. Nick also responded to a comment about the new Monica Villain Sector coming this Tuesday, and the comment was about the new mission possibly being a rehash of the Monica boss fight from Black Widow's portion of the campaign, and Nick confirms that this will be a unique mission, saying, no, this is a new mission. I mean, it's set in an aim base, so it will look like an aim base, but there's no existing mission that parallels it like the Super Adaptoid OLT has. So for those of you who were worried this new villain sector would simply be a repurposed mission of some kind, that definitely doesn't appear to be what they're delivering and you actually get small teases in the promo image they released for the new content where you see two versions of Monica's EXO as well as her clones running up to engage the Avengers and if you pay close attention you'll notice that one EXO looks to be a lot bigger so I think we'll see some interesting mix ups with this new boss fight just like we got with the Cosmic Cube boss fight that was a lot more fun than the Abomination and Taskmaster fights. We also got insight about the power level requirements for this new mission when a Reddit user asked about the required power level for No Rest for the Wicked, to which Nick replied, Honestly, I don't remember off the top of my head. It's not intended to be in-game content like an OLT or the raid. It should be something you can play with a hero that you're still gearing up. So if it has a power level requirement, it's likely just a power level requirement of the region it's in. So as you guys can see, you only need to be at least power level 50 to access the Utah Badlands region. And this mission isn't multiplayer only content, so you will be able to jump in solo to try out the new mission and hopefully get some gear with exciting perks. So hopefully any questions you guys had about the upcoming villain sector were able to be answered. And if not, feel free to post questions down in the comments, as well as your thoughts on Nick's comments about the new comic skins that are coming and the no rest for the wicked villain sector. Let me know down below and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Marvel's Avengers content every week. And if you're interested in picking up Avengers merch, shout with fandom in and make sure to use my code in the description to get an additional 10% off. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one.